Imagine waking up to the harsh realities of ancient Greece, a world far removed from the romanticized tales of gods, heroes, and philosophers. This was a time where the struggle for survival was as real as the rising sun. The brutality of ancient Greece was a defining aspect of daily life. Warfare was a constant threat, casting a long, ominous shadow over the populace. City-states were often at odds, and conflicts could erupt at any given moment. The Peloponnesian War, the epic battle between Sparta and Athens, serves as a grim reminder of how violent and destructive these conflicts could be. But warfare was not the only peril. Slavery was a deeply ingrained part of ancient Greek society. It's estimated that in Athens, the heart of Greek civilization, one in every three people was a slave. These individuals had no rights, were often treated with cruelty, and their lives were dictated by the whims of their masters. Life in ancient Greece was not just about warfare and slavery, though. The living conditions were extremely harsh by our standards. Most people lived in small cramped homes with limited access to clean water and sanitation. Diseases were rampant, and healthcare was rudimentary at best. The average lifespan was around 30 years, a stark contrast to our modern expectancy. And let's not forget the constant struggle for food. Agriculture was the mainstay of the economy, but the rocky terrain and unpredictable weather made farming a challenging task. Famine was a very real threat, and many people went to sleep on an empty stomach. So, as you can see, life in ancient Greece was not all about philosophy and arts, as we often imagine. It was a world where survival was a daily struggle, where the spectre of war, slavery and hunger loomed large. It was a time where life was hard, and death was often just around the corner, a world where survival was not guaranteed. Welcome to a day in the life of an average citizen in ancient Greece. As the sun rises over the city-state, our average citizen begins his day. Imagine, if you will, the life of an ordinary ancient Greek citizen. With the first light of dawn, our citizen awakens, not to the sound of an alarm clock, but to the crowing of a rooster. He rises from his simple bed, made not of plush mattresses, but of straw and animal hides. His breakfast, like most of his meals, is frugal. A chunk of bread, perhaps a bit of cheese, washed down with a swig of wine diluted with water. There's no time for leisurely sipping coffee while scrolling through a news feed. The city-state waits for no one. Off he goes to work, to the fields or the marketplace, or perhaps to a workshop if he's a craftsman. His work is not a nine-to-five job with lunch breaks and coffee breaks peppered in between. His work is relentless, dictated by the rise and fall of the sun and the changing of the seasons. The day is punctuated by brief moments of respite, the midday meal, usually a simple affair of vegetables, bread and more diluted wine. There might be an hour or two for relaxation in the afternoon, but this isn't guaranteed. Social interactions are woven into the fabric of the day. Political discussions at the marketplace, philosophical debates in the gymnasium, or simply catching up with friends at the local tavern. But these are often overshadowed by the constant struggle to make ends meet, to feed the family and to pay taxes. There's no Netflix to unwind to after a long day. Instead, our citizen might find solace in a play at the amphitheatre, or in the tales of epic heroes told by the local bard. But even these moments of pleasure are few and far between. As the sun sets, our citizen retires for the night, only to repeat this arduous routine the next day. The life of an ancient Greek citizen is not one of ease and comfort. It's a life of hardship and struggle, but also of resilience and determination. A life that we, in our modern world, might find unimaginably harsh. In a society where warfare was a fact of life, our citizen might also have been a soldier. Being a soldier in ancient Greece was not a matter of choice, but rather a duty. From the tender age of seven, boys were taken from their homes and thrust into a rigorous training program known as the Agoge. This was not just a military school, but a way of life, a crucible that transformed boys into warriors. The training was brutal and the standards were high. Weakness was not tolerated and only the fittest survived. The life of a soldier was tough. Days were filled with rigorous physical training, weapons practice and tactical lessons. Nights were spent in communal barracks with little comfort or luxury. Food was meagre, often just enough to keep them going. It was a life that demanded discipline, resilience, and above all, complete dedication to the city-state. The realities of warfare in ancient Greece were brutal. 
battles were fought in close quarters, man to man. Each soldier was responsible for his own survival and that of his comrades. The phalanx, a military formation where soldiers stood shield to shield, was only as strong as its weakest link. In the heat of battle, there was no room for fear or hesitation. Casualties were high and the chances of survival were slim. Those who perished on the battlefield were considered heroes, their names etched in the annals of history. Those who survived carried the scars of war both seen and unseen. They returned home, not to a hero's welcome, but to a life forever altered by the horrors of war. In the end, the life of a soldier in ancient Greece was a life of hardship, sacrifice, and constant danger. It was a life that required more than just physical strength. It demanded a spirit of steel, a heart of courage, and a will to survive. For many, the battlefield was the last thing they saw. Beneath the grandeur of cities like Athens and Sparta lay the grim truth of slavery. Amid the splendor and intellectual brilliance of ancient Greece, the ugly spectre of slavery was ever-present, casting its long shadow over the society's achievements. Slavery was an integral part of ancient Greek society, a dark cornerstone upon which the shining edifices of philosophy, democracy and culture were erected. It was so deeply ingrained that it was considered a natural state for some people. In fact, Aristotle himself, one of the greatest thinkers of all time, defended the notion of natural slaves, individuals who were born to serve others. The conditions in which these slaves lived were, as you might imagine, far from ideal. Most slaves in ancient Greece led lives of hard labor and scant reward. They were often treated as property rather than human beings, bought and sold at the will of their masters. Their daily existence was one of toil and hardship, a stark contrast to the leisurely lives of their free counterparts. Slaves in ancient Greece were not confined to manual labor alone. They played various roles in society, some more respected than others. There were domestic slaves who worked in households, performing tasks like cooking, cleaning and child rearing. Some were skilled artisans, potters or blacksmiths. Their craft honed under the harsh whip of necessity. Others worked in the treacherous mines, their lives often cut short by the dangerous conditions. It's also important to note that not all slaves were treated equally. Public slaves, owned by the state, often enjoyed better conditions and more rights than their privately owned counterparts. They served in important roles like policing, administration, and even education. Despite their servitude, they were an integral part of the civic machinery. Yet, regardless of their roles, the harsh reality remained. These individuals were not free. They lived at the mercy of their masters, their lives defined by servitude. In a society built on the backs of slaves, freedom was a distant dream for many. The glory of ancient Greece, it seems, had a dark underbelly, a grim testament to the stark inequalities that can exist even within the most enlightened of societies. Surviving in ancient Greece was far from the idyllic picture painted by Hollywood. If we are to take anything from this journey into the past, it is a newfound appreciation of the realities faced by those who lived in this seemingly glorious period. Let's begin by casting our minds back to the everyday life of the average citizen. From dawn to dusk, it was a relentless struggle for survival. The work was backbreaking, the living conditions were harsh, and luxuries were few and far between. The glamour of marble columns and grand temples we often associate with ancient Greece was not the reality for the vast majority. Then there was the life of a soldier. It wasn't all heroic battles and glorious victories. The reality was a world away from the polished armour and noble speeches we see in the movies. It was a life of rigorous training, brutal warfare, and the constant threat of death. Glory was the aspiration, but hardship was the reality. And let's not forget slavery, the dark underbelly of this ancient civilization. A significant proportion of the population lived in bondage, their lives dictated by the whims of their masters. They were the backbone of the society, yet they were denied basic human rights and freedoms. So, as we draw to a close on our exploration of ancient Greece, it's clear that surviving in this era was a challenge that many of us, accustomed to the comforts and liberties of the modern world, would find overwhelming. It's a stark reminder that history, while fascinating, is often fraught with brutality and hardship. So, the next time you daydream about living in ancient Greece, remember the harsh realities that were the norm for the average citizen. 
It's safe to say, the ancient world was no walk in the park, and the glamour of the silver screen is far removed from the gritty truth of history.